OK, we're going to be looking today at copper. Copper is an element which people are very familiar with because it's such a characteristic coloured metal, sort of reddish colour, though it gets darker when oxide forms. But it's quite a soft metal and you can cut it quite easily. If you have a cutter like this that has steel blades, it will just dig in to the metal and it should just cut off. When you cut the metal, you get this very nice shiny, fresh surface, colour just like copper. This is a ball of copper, copper metal. Um, it's quite, as you might, might imagine, it is a ball of metal in it, so therefore it is quite dense and heavy. I mean, it's not, not as dense as, I think Steve told me this morning, if we had a ball of this, uh, this size of plutonium, he told me it would weigh about a kilo and a half, so he thought. Um, so it's not quite as heavy as that, but it's still pretty heavy and dense. But the copper wire here is very, very high grade. This is grade one copper wire and it's 0.1 of a millimeter in diameter and you can see the wonderful copperous luster coming off the side there. What do you mean by grade one copper? So this is very very high purity, this is like 99.99% copper used for electronics fabrications and high quality research samples. Copper is very popular for architectural use because if you put it on the roofs of buildings it then reacts particularly with carbon dioxide in the air to give a very nice green colour electrical wiring. In fact, it's used so much that in a country like the UK, each person has about 175 kilos of copper associated with each person in the piping, the wiring and so on. The problem is that in many other countries, for example in China, people have very much less copper associated with them. There isn't so much electrical wiring in rural parts of China. And if everybody in China had the same amount of copper associated with them as those in England or America or Canada, there wouldn't be enough copper in all the known deposits around the world. Copper is actually uh, necessary for life. Uh, plants and uh, animals use copper. Um, but actually you can have a disease um, called Wilson's disease, which basically your body can't metabolise copper properly, it's actually an inherited disease. It's oxide actually. Copper is found as a metal lying around in various places in the world. I believe the name came from the island of Cyprus in the middle of the Mediterranean, but copper has always been known. Even in prehistoric times, people found small amounts of copper. But as we use more and more copper, people have had to dig deeper and deeper mines. The mine in Chile, where those very brave miners were entombed for more than two months and then rescued, was a copper mine. And to get the metal that we need, we're going to have to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the... I actually bought this from the British Geological Survey, which is just down the road from here. Is it in Keyworth, I think? And uh, I just saw this and it was a Christmas present from my husband and I picked it out. I just think this was really cool, actually. What did your husband think of getting that as a Christmas present? He knows what I'm like, so <laughs> he buys these things for me. He knows I'm a bit of a magpie. I like to collect shine, shiny things, and pretty things. So that's my copper. Most organisms, you and me, use iron in our blood to transport oxygen. That's what makes our blood red. But in some sorts of crustacean, crabs and similar lobsters, they're different. They use copper. They use a compound called hemocyanin. It's a blue compound of copper. Cyan is some classical word for blue. So they really have blue blood. And these um, hemocyanin uses two atoms of copper in each molecule to transport the oxygen around the body of the crab or lobster. But it's not nearly as good as hemoglobin. So if you start running after a crab or lobster, it quickly gets tired compared to running after a rabbit or something like that, which can keep going fast. So this is a very, very, very nice sample of very fine copper wire. So the copper wire here is, what width is this? This is 0.01, I'm not going to, that's just too, too small. So it's 0.1 of a millimetre. Here is what width is this? This is 0.01. I'm not going to. That's just too too small. So 
It's 0.1 of a millimetre. <laughs>